what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. And uh, we were just heading out to rob a train. Or get ready to rob a train, I guess. Fun times. Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the Odrisbans, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're gonna pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer, then run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after. Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Ray, have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we're gonna need to move fast. Well, Everyone fast is my middle name. On what they're doing? Yep, Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now, come on. Let's ride. Boy, I sure hope there's something valuable in the back of his private car. We don't even know what we're going to get. We're just robbing a train just to rob a train. <laughs> I mean, is there gold on board? Diamonds? What? Are we just robbing some guy's random train that has his little private car in the back and hoping he has some valuable items? Doesn't seem like it's too well planned out, but these guys are not professionals. Obviously, they have nothing. If anyone's a professional, it's the O'Driscolls. Our blood oath to destroy them. We're feuding right now, so yeah. Mm. Got that cowboy music in the background. Woo! Oh, snow, finally. Feels good, doesn't it? But we need to get this done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. Oh, we had money? It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. Mm. The O'Driscolls are right. A stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good railroad bonds? To work out how to cash them. Now, sure. Hey, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, You're a real genius. A Hold up here on the ridge. How the hell are we gonna cash in railroad bonds? They're gonna know someone stole them, right? Therefore, if you cash them in, you're the person that stole them. Still there? Yeah. You want to head down, see how he's getting on? Okay. Well, uh, how do you propose I go down there? Whoa. Check on Bill. Uh, I guess I could go around this way. Yeah. Is this the path? I mean, I could take the shortcut, but I think my horse would hate me if I tried that. Yup, he's mad. Whoa, hold up, boy, don't worry. I'm not gonna do that. We need to find a safe way down. Like this. Oh, careful. Don't fall! Whoa! <laughs> Hold up, boy! Almost there. Wow, it's amazing how fast the snow melted. I guess when you're in the mountains, it's obviously colder. The atmosphere atmosphere is thinner. More snow? I don't know. It's definitely not fun up there, though. All right, horsey. It's time to jump yep. over. Come on! Oh! That, oh. I think we both broke our face. You okay? <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Boy. I should never be allowed near a horse. I am the worst cowboy to ever exist. I guess before I became a cowboy, I uh, was rich and I had like fancy cars. Come on, come on, horsey. 
Well, when I say fancy car, I mean the old school cars. Like, uh, I don't even think they had the Model T back then. Those old steam engine cars, that's what I had. I was wealthy. Then I became a cowboy to have no money and starve in the wilderness. All right, man, what's up? How's it going? You laying that dynamite down? Need my help? I'm a professional when it comes to explosives. I have blown up a lot of shit, let me tell you what. In fact, I might be a pyromaniac. I enjoy fire as well. I wonder what they would call it if you enjoy blowing shit up as well as burning stuff. I mean, if you I like fire, you're a pyromaniac, yeah. right? I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. Of course. Can I help a little? Yeah. All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Hmm. Yeah, sure, whatever you say. Might need to try it out first, though. I gotta make sure the, uh, the dynamite will explode when the time comes. If I accidentally set off the charge while you're there, I'm sorry, man. I am an amateur, after all. But yeah, I wonder what it's called when you like to explode stuff. Pyromaniac, maybe explosive maniac? Explodomaniac, I have no idea what I'm talking about. All right, and then just attach that. Cut wire, no, connect wire, I can't read. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others, I got it from here. Oh, fantastic. I had to ride all the way down here just to connect some stupid wires. Are you kidding okay, me? Okay, boy. Let's go. You couldn't have done that on your own? All right, I'm sorry, little horsey. Unfortunately, we've got to go all the way back up. Oh, wait, can I go this way? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I'm so dumb. No mistakes. What's going on? He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Oh, we're gonna make a train explode. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Whoa, 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 I wanna be down there. I wanna be the one to press the plunger and make the railroad tracks go explodey. Go kaboomy. Words cowboys use, explodey, of course. So, uh, what's the plan? We just gonna wait for the train? They might suspect something if there's a bunch of cowboys sitting on a hill watching the railroad track. They might think there's something that's about to happen. Just a suggestion, let's go hide. You know? Oh wait, am I supposed to be over here with him? You've got to be kidding me. No? Oh, never mind. Everything okay? Oh. I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute. Okay, what do we have? Uh, disguise, disguise. Uh, wait, what? Show weapon wheel. Okay. Oh, item. Oh, there we go. I had to go to the item wheel. All right. I'm now not an outlaw. I'm just a person that has a bandana over my mouth. Gentlemen, it's time. The, the air here is really bad. I'm just covering it up. Good luck. My mouth. Follow you. You all know what to do. Yeah. Yeehaw. Blow that train up. Kaboom! Here we go. Let me guess, it doesn't work? Oh, you idiot! No, what? God. Great job, oh, man! Be kidding me. Where did you, you ruined the whole thing! You said it was fine. It was my fault. Come on. See, that's why we should have tried it out. You know that? Uh, we should have tried it. We, if we had blown the track up ahead of time, this wouldn't have been a problem. The train would have just rolled off into the ditch somewhere. Would have been an easy pick. Oh, shit! We lost the man! Oh, he's fine. Oh! Don't worry, man, I got you. I'm flipping! You're flipping? Well, don't worry, I got you. Now stop yelling! Papa, help me! Oh, stop crying, I've got you. Yeah, you're okay. You big crybaby? Now, let's go slow this thing down. Where's Javier? He fell! The others will get him. Oh. 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 Come on. oh. We need to stop this train. Sorry about that. There's another guard up ahead. You want me to take him? Yeah. Go for it. Go for it. Uh. Send Lenny. Yes. You go. Get him, Lenny. Hey. 
Stab him in the throat. Oh! He is an assassin. Okay, I think we're gonna have to use our guns now. Ah, I, I hate this thing, it's so weak. Oh wait, oh, I've got this. Oh! Hell yeah. This guy's right here, he suspects nothing. We best get up there. Ha! Oh! Oh yeah! Man, I love that, Deadeye is awesome. Makes my life a lot easier. Should we move up? Hell yeah, we should move up. Look at that. Oh my god. I am the deadliest shot in the West. Oh, oh. Where you going, cowboy? You're Sit right. down. Yeah, I'm good. What the hell was Bill doing? He had long enough to set that charge. Well, I hooked up the wire, but we won't mention that. <laughs> well, I did a good job. I Let's think the dynamite moving. was just effective. You don't run oh! What you doing up here, fancy boy? Yeah, kill that bastard. You just lost your scalp. You too. How you doing there? I'm okay. All right, let's get to the front of the train and slow this bad boy down. I know, just stay calm. <gasps> oh, that's my face. You want to help? Hey, homie, help, help. Man, look at you in your fancy outfit. You can't stop me. I'm a cowboy. Oh, oh, look at you, bitch ass. You look like Abraham Lincoln. We have to stop this train. Don't worry, I've got it. Uh, stop train. All right, I killed Abraham Lincoln, but at least the train stopped. Wait, there's more? Boom. Need some new teeth. Sorry about cutting the dialogue off like that. Every time I use Dead Eye, it stops the dialogue. Still okay? Think so. Good. Oh. Oh. Is that dead? There we go. Where the hell are the others? I don't know. Oh. Oh, don't worry, I've got it. Gonna get out of this. Oh, I know we are. You down here, buddy boy? Oh! And this gun kicks ass. What the hell was that? Oh, I'm okay. I think I'm low on health. Run! Oh, I know there's more ahead. Trust me. Let me go ahead and switch over here and uh, take something to heal myself. There we go, a little sip of whiskey, right? Oh my bad, health cure. Really, it's just whiskey mixed with cocaine. Hey, the boys have shown up. I can see now why the O'Driscolls brought so many boys up here for this. Parker, get over here. Oh, we don't need that many men. You've got me. I'm like a semi-deadly shot. Half the time I miss, half the time I kill someone with the headshot. The odds are pretty good. You two all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? <laughs> Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Oh, and they'll buy that for you. sure. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. Oh, as if that's gonna do anything. It's an armored car. What? That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. Now that Mr. might work. Let's go blow that door open. Don't mind if I do. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Place the dynamite, damn it. There we go. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Light the go. fuse and run like the flash. Unless you got a death <laughs> wish, I'd step back, fellas. 
Bye bye. Wow, that worked really well. Who would have thought? Too bad it didn't work from before. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My, oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> so again, I don't want to judge, but how are we going to cash in railroad bonds that are clearly not ours? Just, you know, trying to use my head here. Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've Ooh. seen everything. Fancy. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. <laughs> yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's king. I'll give you that. Oh, I have a cigar. Fancy, fancy. Hey, let's see if we can get this open. Oh, I found a lockbox. No, this looks like something. Come on. Come on. Get in there. There they are. Railroad bonds. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> yes, I would like to cash these railroad bonds that belong to me, which are the exact same bonds that were stolen from a, a certain train a while ago that got exploded. Oh no, they're mine. Trust me on that. I, I am not a robber. Even though I smell bad and look like a robber, a thief, a criminal, a degenerate, I'm not one, I promise. No one's gonna buy that. I see a lot of, uh, Holes in our plan. All right, I could stop and read the letter, but honestly, I'm too lazy to do that. Well, we've got some useless bonds. Fantastic. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Why am I left to clean up the mess? That's unfair. I'm the one that stopped the train, damn it. Deal with the guards. Uh, let's threaten them. Okay. Get on the train, quick. Hold it. <laughs> Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. Don't get up there, bitch. I swear. Then get up there. What are you? Quick. I swear to God, I will peel your scalp back. Okay. Now don't move. I will give you a second butthole if you try and move. You don't want to even. You don't even want to know what that means. But trust me, it would not be fun. There's a lot of bodies around here. I wish I could take the time to stop and search, but uh, it's honestly a little bit too much work. And I'm sure along the way, I'll find all the supplies I need. I'm probably leaving behind a lot of valuable stuff. I know. All right, all right. Hopefully this train doesn't crash into another train at some point down the track. I'm sure it will. Hey, my trusty stallion. Have a good trip. Wow, that was actually really easy. I don't see why we didn't just blow the track up before the train got there. That would have made a lot more sense. Instead of trying to wait, what was the point in that? Oh, they were trying to separate the train from the cars or carts. You, you get the idea. It didn't work though. Like everything we do, I'm sure. Oh, for Lord's sake! Put that book away and go help. Oh, Mary Beth. Oh, joy! Back in the snow. Fun. So we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. 
Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. You know all too well. Man, what a great family I've got. Bunch of degenerate washed up cowboys. Outlaws. We just robbed his train. We have some useless bonds. Life's looking good, minus the fact that we're all kind of sick and dying with no food. This is so cool, man. Yeah, I'm sorry, I would not survive five minutes in the wilderness. Hey, and we're out of the snow. Now, I wonder what part in the game I'm going to be Wait, able to buy new weapons. Micah, get over here. Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. Oh, maybe that means we're gonna go to a settlement. All I wanna do is get a repeater, like a Winchester, something that shoots fast and doesn't take forever to like load a second bullet. Because that uh, military army issued rifle I have, whatever I'm currently using, is uh, it's not the best. I mean, I'm not the best when it comes to being accurate, but you get the idea. If I had something a little faster, it'd make my life a hell of a lot easier. Oh wow, this looks so pretty. God damn. I can't remember if console, if on uh, the PS4, the game looked this good or not, but uh, man, this is gorgeous. Oh no. <laughs> Ah, it's your okay. fat ass. Let's take a look. You're weighing the uh, right, the wagon right, down. Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. You still oh, wow, they're actually strong. Hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. I can't even imagine how uncomfortable it would be. <laughs> Do you know how uncomfortable it would uncomfortable English it would be to try and ride a wagon? Like you talk about a bumpy ride. Wagon wheels, no suspension. Over rough terrain. Not quite. Oh! I think we've got company. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Oh, I think we know what happened. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. Hurry it up, we've got work to do. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stole them clean away from them, it was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We True. <laughs> Spotted that just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, Why are you casting don't shade? Don't on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. I believe that. 
I don't think so, there's a single educated person here. What happened to your trap? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. I mean, we've got time. You should we tell still it. still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we plan? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. The Driscolls? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. Sure, but you get it wrong one time and you're dead, so... It's kind of a bad philosophy. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah. You can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hmm. Well, thanks for that. But, uh, I don't need it. All I need to heal my wounds are whiskey. Man, I've gotta say, this is a fantastic place to lie low. A lot better than in the mountains with all the snow. It actually looks kind of warm here. There's a lot of creatures here, too, so we've got plenty of hunting opportunities. But, uh, if I know Dutch, based on just the few hours I've played this game, or less than an hour, I'm sure he's gonna want to throw us into some type of insane job. Oh, let's rob a military transport. Or, let's go hold up a, a bank somewhere in this massive town. Oh, great idea. Nothing like a bunch of tired, starving people that are at the end of the rope to do a big job and not die in the process. Great job! Great idea, Dutch! I think Dutch has it in his head that he just needs to get one big job and he'll be set. Thanks. But uh, unfortunately, that's never going to happen. Oh, hello. Careful. We're already basically at capacity. We broke a wheel. And it wasn't my fault. I'm not the fat ass here. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Really? I'm so glad you approved. Again, I don't understand the point of them trying to go do more jobs. If they have money in uh, Blackwater, why not just lie low for a couple of years, and then when the heat's cooled off, it, well, the heat's died down, we just go back and get the money that we already have. Instead of creating a trail of uh, destruction behind us everywhere we go, and then having to keep going and running from the law. Man, this thing is going slow. Oh, I can speed it up. Okay. Chop, chop, horses. We got places to be and people to rob. 
But most importantly, we have a camp set up. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Oh, great. You were wrong, Jose. This place Here is perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Just barely. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Mm. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck. East of the Grizzlies and out of money. And a long way from a dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother. But we are safe. We make a bit of money here. Then we move again. Head out around them. Be west of Uncle Sam. In a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen. I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Say now, what? Everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough, but we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. <laughs> that seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Oh, real food. Of that course he would bring day. that up. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Mmm. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson! Oh, boy. I've seen shit with more common sense than you do it properly. What a five-star hotel. A cot beneath a blanket next to a wagon. Oh. Home sweet home. Chapter 2, Horseshoe Overlook. Well, now that we're next to a, uh, a town full of mud and morons, <laughs> that means we could probably go into town and buy supplies. For example, a new gun, a better gun, a gun that will help me perform uh, my dead-eye takedowns with fewer misses. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave it off there for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next time, since we're going into town, hopefully I can buy a new gun. Like, for example, a repeater, a Winchester. I don't know why I'm set on getting a new gun, but I think it'd be really badass to have an old-school Winchester repeater. A lot better than the current gun I have. But anyway, I'm going to try and keep each episode kind of short, around 20 to 30 minutes, because viewership for this game seems to drop really quickly. I guess because, one, everyone's already played it, and two, the game is really interesting, but a lot of people actually want to probably play it themselves. I don't know what the case is, but either way, I'm going to keep each episode short. So, yeah, until next time, hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.